Unraveling Idioms, Understanding Died in the Wool. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of idioms, specifically the phrase died in the wool. Idioms like this one can be tricky because they often can't be understood literally. So, let's unravel the mystery together. The phrase, died in the wool, is used to describe a person who has very strong opinions or habits that they are very unlikely to change. It's often used to highlight someone's unwavering commitment or loyalty to a belief, ideology, or way of life. Interestingly, this phrase has its roots in the textile industry, where wool is literally dyed in its raw state, and the color becomes permanent. Understanding the origin of dyed in the wool helps to appreciate its meaning. This idiom dates back to a time when wool was dyed before being spun into yarn. The dyeing process at this early stage meant that the color was more thoroughly and permanently absorbed. This is a great metaphor for beliefs or characteristics that are deeply ingrained in a person. To understand how to use dyed in the wool, let's look at some examples. 1. My grandfather is dyed in the wool conservative. He's never voted for another party. 2. As a dyed in the wool environmentalist, she dedicates her life to protecting nature. These sentences show how the idiom is used to describe someone's deep and unchangeable convictions or habits. It's important not to confuse dyed in the wool with negative stubbornness or inflexibility. The phrase usually implies a positive or neutral assessment of someone's strong, long-standing beliefs or characteristics. We hope this video has shed some light on the idiom, dyed in the wool. Remember, idioms are a colorful way to express ideas and add flair to your English. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using them like a native speaker. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.